indigenous languages are gradually appearing more in public life. The Council of Indigenous Peoples is taking the lead, putting indigenous languages on signs at the council office. Staff can also choose which languages they want to use on their ID badges. In total, 16 indigenous languages are now featured in the office. All the signs for departments in the Council of Indigenous Peoples have a new look. They've now got Atayal and Mandarin language directions side by side. This small meeting room has the Kanakanabu language on its sign. The labels for floors in the elevator include the Sakizaya language. The council is implementing the national languages policy in its own office, with 16 indigenous languages now featured on signs in the building. In the past, what you would see at the Council of Indigenous Peoples was languages transliterated with English-style spelling. But now over here, we're using transliteration from the Amis language. And the ID badges on lanyards have changed too. Members of staff can choose which language they want on their badge and use their indigenous name. We are Nam. This name badge communicates my professional position. I'm very grateful to the council for thinking of me. We should construct an inclusive language environment and remind people not to forget what their Amis name is or what their Bunan name is. This is a very important goal for us to promote. Currently, there are similar renovations underway at 20 district offices in areas with indigenous populations. Small changes like this can gradually introduce more people to the beauty of indigenous languages.